Are you okay? I'm sorry. Jake, I just lost it when I thought he was going after you. I kind of like it when you do that, though. Is that weird? Like a tigress. But I know he was just trying to protect Kara. It's always all about Kara. Babe, it's his sister. Are we okay with the whole character? I mean, by now, I would... I am. And I shouldn't have blamed everything on her. It wasn't fair. I'm sure he'll understand. Don't worry about it. It's just so hard. All of it. Yeah. You know what I think it is? I think it's because you were basically interrogated by that immigration officer. I mean, that's a horrible hoop. Nobody likes that, you know? The way he looked at me, like, he knew everything. Like, he could tell that we were lying. No, hold on a second. He's never going to be able to... It doesn't matter. He can't prove it. Okay? She'll stay out of danger as long as we all stick to the same story. Okay? They're engaged. That's it. And she won't be deported. I know. Because that idiot whoever called up immigration... I mean, who does that? Who does that? Jake, I really think that you should let it go. I, I think that person should be found, and I think they, sh they should have to pay. That's what I think. You are now the acting chief of staff. I mean, you have to make life and death decisions every day. Mm -hmm. You can't get caught up in some vendetta that takes your mind off of your job, your family. I, just, I can't seem to let it go, though. I'm asking you to, please. Normally, I would do anything for you. You know that. It's just something that's eaten away at me. I, I think that... Jake. Why am I getting a funny signal here? You can stop your investigation. Because you're the one who made the call. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. And please, let me know the second you hear anything about Emma, please. I absolutely will. Okay. I'm just going to check her vitals. Ryan! Yeah. Hi, did you find Emma? No, not, 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 not yet, but we're hoping to find out something really, really soon. In fact, i got to get back out to it. Of course. Yeah. Um, just keep in touch, okay? Definitely. Okay. What's going on? What am I missing? I, I hired an investigator to look into Zach's plane crash. And? Oh, no, he didn't find any reason to believe it was anything but an accident. Just... But judging from the look on Kendall's face, there's obviously something else. Well, they found a, a metal box that belonged to Zach. Apparently, the initial search missed it. They should be sending it to me sometime today. Do you have any idea what's in it? No. I just wanted to make sure Kendall knew it was coming, that's all. Well, thank you. I mean, amazing in, in the face of everything you've got going on. You know what? Someday, all of this is going to turn around for everybody. It's freezing out here. Sorry. Had to make a stop along the way to counsel Mrs. Montrose. She's having a really hard time with her son, who's clearly turned his back on a Christian lifestyle. You do remember that you're not really a minister. You're... the exact opposite of a minister. You kill people. That's not all I do. Well, you get my point. I know what I am. And I know that I have a cover to protect if I'm gonna keep that money flowing from those casinos to us. Oh, and not to mention keeping us all out of prison. But you didn't find anything in the house. No, I didn't. Because Kendall's mother walked in. And had she seen me, she might have met herself with an unfortunate accident. Okay, so now what? Now, now I get Kendall to rely on me. I mean, we're friends. But I need to get closer to her if she's going to lead me to what we're looking for. Hmm. You seem to be liking this assignment. Kendall's a very attractive woman. Dr. Castillo says that he's cleared you to go home. I'm not sure that he's right. I asked for it. Over and over again. Mom, I want to go home. 
I, I want to be there when Zach's box arrives. I wouldn't cut her loose if I didn't think she was capable of leaving. And she's promised she won't skip out on any more hospital follow-ups. Okay, then I'll take you home. I don't want you to be alone when that box arrives. No, no, Mom, you've protected me enough. It's, it's time that I stand on my own. I, I need to do this. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes then. And uh, just please be sure she's up to this. You got it. Okay, I'll be right outside then. leaving today your pulse is normal everything checks out you do understand that yes I do I guess it's time to let you go are we good here or are we good well yeah I mean do we need to answer any more questions like where we shared our first kiss or my favorite part on your body <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to go that far, kitten. Mm -hmm. Well, on behalf of myself and the entire Pine Valley Prosecutor's Office, I'd like to wish you congratulations. Okay. Meliza, how sweet and formal of you. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Yep, I'm going in. Uh, I, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna, I need, why don't you stay here? This, this could be a while. It's probably a good idea. Is that good? Okay, but I will, I'll call you later. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Mm -hmm. Oh, bye. Bye. Feisty little thing, isn't she? That's why I love her. If I wasn't so concerned about Colby, I would love to ask you a lot more questions. But you are. And by that, I take it you haven't spoken with her. <laughs> Not exactly speaking, not after she found out that I slept with her boyfriend. Oh, give her time. She's not gonna forget this. Dad, there's way too much family history for that. Tell me I'm wrong about this. Tell me right now that you didn't make that phone call. Will you please tell me that? I'm... I'm so sorry. And I didn't mean... I didn't think that... You didn't think what? what? that it would turn out the way that it did. Why would you ever make a phone call like that? Well, know that she is still in love with you. That is why she came back to Pine Valley. That's why she stayed here. And I, and I was afraid and I was scared. I was angry. What are you afraid of exactly? That she's gonna steal me from you? And that she's gonna steal me from our son? Is that what you're afraid of? I know that you love me. And I know that you are committed to our marriage, but she's so, I don't know. She is your first real love. And you, you haven't been the same since she got here. We have not been the you same. Hold your voice, please. So instead of coming to me, believing in me, or trusting in us, you called immigration to get her deported? Deported? Hi. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that I called you in on your day off. Oh, correction. I'm glad you did. Uh, Amanda? So, I think we're gonna have to do surgery on Mrs. Taylor. Right, well, I'll call admin and I'll get them to get the paperwork. I'm already on it. Really? Yeah. All right, then. Thank you. Nothing else? No, no, good. good? Thank you. Okay, sure. Thank you for not We are not saying. doing this here. Caleb, please listen to your messages. I have been trying to reach you. It's important. Will you ever learn to use your cell phone? Hi. Oh, Reverend, hi. Well, I'm, I'm so glad to see you. How's our Kendall doing? She's actually going home today, and uh, frankly, I'm a bit concerned. Okay, a any way I can help? You've already been such a help to Kendall and, and to all of us in our family, but I do really think she's going to need even more support now. Okay, is there something, something I don't know? Well, apparently, Ryan Lavery has continued the investigation of Zach's crash, and apparently he found this, this, this box, that a metal box that Zach had on the plane with him. Box? Mm-hmm. And I guess it was important enough for Zach to have it with him on the plane. Okay, this, this box? Where is it? Actually, it's going to be delivered to Kendall today. And the thing is, she said that she 
She wants to be alone when she opens it. I mean, that's what she told me. Yeah, I, I understand. But I don't think that's such a good thing. Oh, I am so glad that you agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, maybe she'd allow me to take her, to be there with her, make sure she's okay. I would be so grateful. Sorry the release is taking so long. You'll be free to go in a few. Well, my mother will not be happy about that. I can understand her concern, considering what you're going home to do. Open Zach's box. Could be kind of heavy stuff. You sure you're up for it? I can handle it. No doubt, but I want you to promise me that if it becomes too much, you'll bail. Or if there's any symptoms of distress, you'll call me. Yes, doctor. I'm serious. We made a deal. I keep you safe. You keep me in the loop. Yes. Okay, well, here's the loop. I will probably cry, feel sorry for myself for a while, but then I'll remember that I have so much to be grateful for. My sons, my family. Even you made that list. Pain in the ass I am. Yeah. So, you gonna miss me? I mean, what are you gonna worry about once I'm gone? Well, I still have my sister. What's going on with Kara? Nothing. Just, uh, big brother worries. You wanna talk about it? Nope. Well, do it anyway. I guess you'll find out sooner or later. She's getting married. Really? Uh, and that's bad news? To Tad Martin. To Tad? What? I know, I know. Uh, apparently they've been seeing each other for a while. They didn't want to make a big deal about it. Well, it is kind of a shock, but well, for what it's worth, Tad is one of the good guys. There's a few of those around. So, um... You take care of yourself. Hmm? Yeah, you too. There's a wheelchair waiting for you outside. I'm Griff. Thanks for saving my life. And there she is. Hi. Hi. I did not know you would be here today. I pulled the lucky ticket. I get to take you home. Really? Sounds like some divine intervention to me. Something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mom, I am fine. I have survived, and I don't want you to worry about anything. Well, that's not gonna happen. Yes, I know, I know. I'm a mom, too. So, so I'll call you, or you call me if you need anything, okay? Yes. And I know you're in good hands. 